Hello, Crip and Astronauts, students and families. Principal Mays here, and I miss you so much. We are coming to you live on Facebook every day with a different staff member, hopefully to create some memories and normalcy in your children's lives. So parents, if you are seeing this, will you please share with our Crip and Astronauts? I'm reading a book to you today called Jake and Gracie, A Night to Remember by Christina Hammonds. So a little background knowledge is that all of our students at Crippen Elementary have been participating in the units of study lessons by Lucy Calkins. And they've been talking about opinion writing and perspective and point of view. So I have an excellent book by an author friend of mine that I'm going to read to you and hopefully you can tell the different perspectives and point of view. We are going to be posting this and making a YouTube channel. So every day when a favorite Crip and Astronaut staff member comes to you, then hopefully you can get your child, have them read. And if you're a Crip and Astronaut student, hello, I am missing you big time and can't wait to see you again. So here it is, Jake and Gracie, A Night to Remember by Christina Hammonds. And it says, the very first page, Jake and Gracie are siblings. Jake is nearly three years older than Gracie, yet they are still very close. They have a lot of adventures together, but they never seem to recall the same thing the same way. Take, for instance, what happened the night at the carnival. Jake and Gracie were at a county fair with their mom and dad, and they were having a great time until the hot air balloon ride. It's best if they tell you what happened next. Here's how I remember it. So here's little Gracie, and she's gonna tell you how she remembered the story. So remember, be thinking about perspective, how someone looks at the situation. So here's Gracie's. We had totally played it safe all night thanks to Jake's unwillingness to be adventurous. We rode bumper cars, went on a kiddie train ride, and played way too many carnival games. By the way, I, Gracie, won a giant stuffed monkey when I, Gracie, beat Jake my big brother at the balloon pop stand. Jake managed to miss every throw. It reminded me of our trip to the river. Of course, that's another story. So here she is at the carnival having a good time. She wanted to be more adventurous and ride big grown-up rides, but her brother wanted to play it safe in her opinion. As I was saying, we were waiting in line for the hot air balloon ride. Apparently, nothing dealing with balloons worked out well for Jake that night. Everything seemed fine and dandy as we got up to the front. The man at the gate reassured Jake that it was pretty safe and he shouldn't worry. We chose our hot air balloon and buckled up for the ride. That sounds fun right about now, going to a carnival and a ride. So they're buckling up for a big hot air balloon ride. There's their parents watching them as they lift off into the air. When the ride started moving, everything was terribly wrong. Jake began screaming and held on to the center of the pole for dear life. This reminds me of making a little connection. One time we went to the downtown aquarium and if you're in third grade or other grades that are older, you've been on a field trip and when you're on the Ferris wheel, it feels like a hot air balloon ride and you get a little nervous. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was mortified that my big brother was being such a baby. He screamed from the top, from the moment the ride began until the very moment he stepped off. So Gracie thinks it's a little bit funny that the older brother is scared at the top of the hot air balloon ride. As we walked away, Jake mumbled something to the man at the gate, and I think he accused him of lying about the ride's safety. So he's a little bit scared right now. The rest of the night was completely a bust. Jake refused to ride anything else. Talk about a night to remember. Okay, so that's Gracie, the little sister's perspective of what happened on the carnival. So let's see. 
Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. That is not the way I recall it. So we're switching gears. And here's the older brother Jake's perspective. Just like you've been learning in class about opinion writing and forming different perspectives and persuading others and other people's points of view. Well, here is a book that has two different perspectives. So let's see, this is Jake. Gracie is right about the bumper cars and kitty train ride, but that's because she tends to be careless when it comes to adventure. I was looking out for my little sis. I wanted her to have a fun, safe time at the fair. However, her story is all wrong about the balloon pop stand. There is no way I miss those balloons because I lack skill. In fact, it's my vast skill that kept Gracie from getting stung by a raging bumblebee. She was too busy playing with a very sharp dart to notice that I, Jake, saved Gracie, my little sister, from a night in the emergency room. So here's the little bee. Wow, his language is much more rich than Gracie's. So as you start writing and you get older, you wanna use better language and he's doing that with some very nice adjectives. Listen to this word next. With my valor and selfless courage, I managed to trap the enormous bumblebee. She may have walked away with a giant monkey, but I walked away as a hero. So a very different perspective so far, isn't it? On the subject of the hot air balloon ride, Gracie is again greatly mistaken by the events that took place once we deboarded that dilapidated carnival ride disaster. So it has the word dilapidated really big. So you're gonna have to look that word up, hopefully Google it or a dictionary. I say dilapidated, so here's my context clues, because once in motion, I noticed the center bar was breaking away from the base of the ride. I quickly threw my arms around the pole in an effort to keep the ride from crumbling in midair. Yes, I was screaming, but only to get the attention of the man at the gate. Thank goodness the ride ended and we were both unharmed. So look at Gracie. She's having the time of her life and he is being protective and having valor being strong and honor to protect his little sister. I did in fact speak to the gatekeeper once the ride was over. So I'm seeing the same pictures kind of or illustrations from the author, but different perspective. I did in fact speak to the gatekeeper once the ride was over. It was my duty as a loving brother and a very good citizen to express my concern for the safety of other innocent and unaware patrons. I think rather than twist events around, Gracie, Gracie should simply say, thank you, Jake, for being a great brother and looking out for me again. Naturally, the rest of the night was ruined. I didn't think the rides were safe enough for my little sister and I wanted her to have many other nights to remember. Okay, so two different perspectives. You've been learning about that in all your classes with your writing and having different opinions, having different points of view. So we're almost done with the conclusion of the book and you have to think. So here we go. Now you've heard each sibling tell their side of the story. A few things are certain about that night. So here are the facts. Jake and Gracie did attend the county fair with their parents. They did enjoy a few of the rides. Gracie did leave with a giant stuffed monkey and the evening was pretty much over after the hot air balloon ride. As far as everything else, well, it's up for you to decide what you believe. about the author, and then there's one quick afterthought because I want to give the author credit for reading this. Christina Hammonds has been inspiring young readers and writers as an educator for many years. She lives in Texas with her husband and two children who remind her that her daily life is a beautiful ride. Okay, so that is the conclusion of our book. And this was a book that any student can enjoy. So hopefully if you have a sibling, a brother or sister, and you're at home with them over the next month, 
There's always, when we talk to our parents, two sides of the story. There's always a different perspective. But I love how this book, and it's a series. So if you like Jake and Gracie, you can go to Snuggle Book. Snuggle Bug, S-N-U-G-G-L-E-B-U-G Books, B-O-O-K-S dot net. So snugglebugbooks.net. Oh, I'm getting the call. Hold on just a second. So you can go on and see other books that they've written, but I love how this was written by a teacher. She's a fourth grade teacher who teaches writing and perspective. So you can um can see that sometimes we have to determine what the author is trying to tell us, determine the purpose, and they had two different perspectives, two different point of views. You use the facts and make an inference. So even though you're at home learning, I hope you enjoy this read aloud. We're gonna have, I'm getting another call. We're gonna have other um, read alouds posted. Let me turn it off real quick. We're gonna have other read alouds the next few days. I think Miss Brent is fixing up a read aloud, Miss Ogden, Miss Hindmarch. We have other teachers that are recording and we're gonna post them on our Facebook, our Twitter, and we're creating a YouTube astronaut channel because we know that all of our kids on their devices love YouTube. So you'll be able to watch them and hopefully have a little read aloud every day. I tried to make it fun, but also use some of those academic vocabulary so you can keep learning. So your thought for the day, have a wonderful day. Um, enjoy learning. As I say every morning on the announcements, don't let anyone steal your joy. We're going to get through this together, and we love you. So bye from Principal Mays, and look for more read-alouds.